let us learn about corrosion in chapter number 1 we have already discussed this topic corrosion we have learned that silver articles become black after some time when exposed to air why is it so this is because silver reacts with sulfur in the air to form a coating of silver sulfide as a result we will be able to see that after some time silver articles become black okay because when they are exposed to air they react with sulfur and they form silver sulfide so this is the reason behind why the silver articles become black we have also learned about copper that when copper is exposed to air it gets green coating why is it so because copper reacts with moist carbon dioxide in the air and slowly it loses its shine and it gains a green coating this green substance is basic copper carbonate so these things you need to remember that when copper is reacted with what moist carbon dioxide and because of that it's slowly slowly its shiny brown color fades away and this will get a green coating and what is this green coating it is copper carbonate so this is the reason why copper gets green coating we have also discussed that iron things will get rusted what it is they get brown color why is it so this is because when iron is exposed to moist air for a long time it will get a coating of brown substance which is called rust in general language we see it as iron rust okay why is it happening because of the reaction between iron and oxygen so about this three things silver copper and iron we have learned in chapter number 1 now let us understand activity activity 3.14 in your textbook we are asked to take three test tube and we have to place clean iron nails in each of them so as shown in the figure in three test tube we have to place iron nails which are clean in all three test tube we have to put it this three test tube we have to give name as a b and c now one by one in first test tube we have to put some water and we have to cork it we have to close it with the help of cork this is for test tube 1 now in test tube b what do we have to do we have to pour boiled distilled water and then we have to take about 1 ml of oil and then we have to close it as we know that when water and oil are kept together what will happen water will be at the bottom and oil will float right this we have learned now why did we keep this oil and water together here when the oil will float on the water what it will do it prevent the air from dissolving in the water okay that is why there is a layer of oil in between water and air so that the air cannot dissolve in the water now let us talk about third test tube in third test tube which is test tube c 
in this test tube we have to put some anhydrous calcium chloride anhydrous calcium chloride the chemical formula is CaCl2 now what it is it is crystals which means we can see in the figure also they are solids crystals anhydrous means what they contain no water which means there is no water in this anhydrous so the meaning of anhydrous is which contains no water there is no water here anhydrous calcium chloride and the CaCl2 that is calcium chloride they are solids and they are highly soluble in water okay but here we have taken anhydrous which do not contain water so this anhydrous calcium chloride we have to take and what will happen this will absorb the moisture and we have to leave these test tubes for a few days and then later on we have to observe now remember in third test tube we have taken anhydrous calcium chloride which is also known as drying agent why is it called as drying agent because we have learned that anhydrous means which contains no water so this anhydrous calcium chloride will absorb the moisture and that is why in C test tube there will be dry air because the moisture will be absorbed by this anhydrous calcium chloride. As observation we will see that the iron meals will rest in test tube A. You can see that in the figure. But the iron meals do not rest in test tubes b and c in both the test tube b and c iron nails will not get rust in the test tube a the nails are exposed to both air and water okay because there we have poured water in the test tube b the nails are exposed to only water and the nails in test tube c are exposed to dry air so we can see that the iron nails get rusted in which conditions when there was air and water both in test tube b we have taken water so the iron nails are exposed to only water because there is a layer of oil in between so the air is not coming in contact with the water okay and in c test tube also there is a dry air so from this activity we can conclude that when iron articles get rusted that time also iron articles are exposed to air and water both so this is about the activity